Hello and good day everyone. My name is Sir Marcy. Our lesson for today is all about solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. Okay, before we proceed with our topic, let's recall first the table of squares. I have your numbers 1 to 20. So to get the square of a number, you multiply it by itself. Let's say we're going to square 1. That is simply 1 times 1 and the answer is 1. So 2 times 2, the answer is 4. 3 times 3, the answer is okay 9. 4 times 4, the answer is okay that is equal to 16. 5 times 5, the answer is okay 25. 6 times 6, 36. 7 times 7, 40. Okay, 9. 8 times 8, okay, 64. 9 times 9, 81. And 10 times 10 is equal to 100. Okay, how about 11 times 11? So the answer is 121. 12 times 12, the product is 144. 13 times 13, the answer is, okay, 169. 14 times 14, okay, 196. 15 times 15, the answer is, okay, 225. How about 16 times 16? The answer is, 256. 7 times 17 times 17, the answer is, 289 18 times 18 the answer is 324 19 times 19 the answer is 361 and lastly 20 times 20 the answer is 400 finding the square root of a number is the inverse operation of squaring that number Remember, the square of a number is that number times itself. So if we have a square of n, that is simply n raised to 2 or n squared. If we have a square of 7, that is 7 squared or 7 raised to 2. If we expand 7 raised to 2, that is simply 7 times 7. And we know that 7 times 7 is equal to 49. Therefore, 7 squared is equal to 49. The square root of a number n written below is the number that gives n when multiplied by itself. So we have a square root of n. If we have a square root of 49, the answer is positive 7. If we have negative a square root of 36, the answer is negative 6. And if we have positive, negative, square root of 100, the answers, we have positive, negative, 10. Okay, now it's your turn. I will give you only 10 seconds to answer the following question. Are you ready? Okay, timer starts now. Okay, time's up, and here are the answers. Our lesson for today is all about solving quadratic equation by extracting square roots. Quadratic equations that can be written in the form x squared is equal to k can be solved by applying the following properties. If k is greater than 0, meaning k is positive, then x squared is equal to k has two real solutions or roots. That is, x is equal to positive negative k. If k is equal to 0, then x squared is equal to k has one real solution or root. That is, x is equal to 0. If k is less than 0, meaning k is negative, then x squared is equal to k has no real solutions or roots. The method of solving the quadratic equation in the form x squared is equal to k is called extracting the square roots. There are three steps in solving quadratic equation by extracting square roots. 
Number 1, we begin by isolating the quadratic term or x squared. 2, we apply the square root property. And number 3, we separate the plus or minus sign into two equations and solve each individually. Let's solve quadratic equation by extracting square roots. So using property number 1, if k is greater than 0, then x squared is equal to k has two real solutions or roots. Suppose we are asked to find the solution of the quadratic equation x squared is equal to 100. So we know that our k here is equal to 100 and k is greater than 0. So that means we will apply property number 1. So to solve for the solutions, we will just simply extract or apply extracting square root. So we have x squared is equal to 100. So by applying extracting square roots, so the square root of x squared is simply x. And the square root of 100 is positive negative 10. So therefore, K has two real solutions, and that is, or roots, and that is x is equal to positive 10 or x is equal to negative 10. Let's proceed with example number 2. Find the solutions of the quadratic equation x squared is equal to 25 over 49. So notice that the equation is again in the form of x squared is equal to k. So your k here is 25 over 49 which is greater than 0. So therefore, we will apply property number 1. So we have um, x squared is equal to 25 over 49. So by applying extracting square roots, so we begin by extracting the square root of x squared. So square root of x squared is equal to x. And the square root of 25 over 49, we know that square root of 25 is equal to 5 over square root of 49 is 7. So therefore, our root will be x is equal to positive negative square uh, positive negative 5 over 7 so therefore we have two real roots or solution that is x is equal to positive 5 over 7 or x is equal to negative 5 over 7 so let's proceed with example number 3 Find the solutions of the quadratic equation x squared is equal to 36 over 100. Notice it is already in the form of x squared is equal to k. So we know that the value of k here is equal to 36 over 100 and that is greater than 0. So therefore, we will still apply property number 1. So to begin with, we have x squared is equal to 36 over 100. So by applying extracting square roots, we know that the square root of x squared is equal to x. And we have square root of 36 over 100 that is simply positive negative 6 over 10. Notice that 6 over 10 that um, we know that it is that it is reducible to lower term so that is equal now to positive negative 3 over 5 so therefore the roots or the solutions we have here are x is equal to positive 3 over 5 or x is equal to negative 3 over 5 Okay, let's proceed with example number 4. Find the solutions of the quadratic equation m squared minus 64 is equal to 0. Notice that it is not in the form of x squared is equal to k. So, to start with, we need to begin by isolating x squared. So, this is x squared and we're going to transfer this to the right, yung negative 64. So, to do that, will apply addition property of equality. So, we are going to add both sides of the equation by 64. 
So, m squared. So, 64 or negative 64 plus 64 is equal to 0. And that is why 0 plus 64 is equal to 64. So, it's now in the form of x squared is equal to k. Then, this is the time we're going to apply extracting square roots. So, we have m squared is equal to 64. So, extracting apply extracting square root. The square root of m squared is... M, and the square root of 64 is we have positive negative 8. Therefore, the solutions or roots are M is equal to 8 or M is equal to negative 8. Example number 5. Find the solution of the quadratic equation 3m squared minus 27 is equal to 0. Again, this is um, the same with example number 4. So, what we're going to do here is to isolate the term containing x squared or the quadratic term. So, to do that, we add both sides of the equation by positive 27 or we apply um, addition property of equality. So, this is now 3n squared. So, 27, negative 27 plus 27 is equal to 0. And that's equal to 0 plus 27. That's equal to 27. Next is, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 3. Okay? So, it's now um, in the form of um, x squared is equal to k. So, we have here n squared is equal to 27 divided by 3 the answer is 9 so it's now in the form of x squared is equal to k next step is we will now apply extracting square roots so we have here n squared is equal to 9 so by applying extracting square roots the square root of n squared is equal to n and the square root of 9 is positive negative 3 therefore the roots are we have n is equal to positive 3 or n is equal to negative 3 example number 6 find the solutions of the quadratic equation 2p squared minus 36 is equal to 14. Again, by looking at our example, it is not in the form of x squared is equal to k. So, we need to transform this equation first to the form x squared is equal to k. Again, by doing um, what we did in our previous example, so we have here, um, we apply addition property. So, we add both sides of the equation by positive 36. So, this is now bring down 2p squared so we have negative 36 plus positive 36 so that's equal to 0 and that's equal to 14 plus 36 the answer is equal to 50 so we divide both sides again by 2 we have now p squared is equal to 20, uh, 50 divided by 2 that is equal to 25. So, it's now in the form of x squared is equal to k. Now, we'll apply extracting square root to figure out the solutions. So, we have here p squared is equal to 25. So, the square root of p squared is p. And the square root of 25, we have positive negative 5. So, therefore, our answer p is equal to 5 or p is equal to negative 5. So let's proceed with property number 2. If k is equal to 0, then x squared is equal to k has one real solution or root. So I have here two examples. Let's try to solve first problem number 1. So find the solution of the quadratic equation a squared is equal to 0. Notice it is already in the form of a squared is equal to uh, x squared is equal to k where our k here is equal to 0. And if k is equal to 0, we have one real solution. So we apply extracting square roots. So the square root of a squared is a and the square root of 0 is 0. So therefore, the value of um, the, the solution or root for this equation is a is equal to 0. Example number 2. 
2b squared plus 9 is equal to 9. If you're going to examine this, it's not in the form of x squared is equal to k. So therefore, we need to transform first this equation to x squared is equal to k. To do that, we apply subtraction property. So we'll add both sides of the equation by negative 9. So if we apply addition, that is simply now 2b squared. So neg uh, positive 9 plus negative 9 is equal to 0. So that's cancelled out is equal to 9 plus negative 9, that is equal to 0. It's not yet in the form of x squared is equal to k since there is a leading numerical coefficient of 2. So we divide it both sides by 2. So this is now 2 divided by 2, that is now b squared is equal to 0 divided by 2, the answer is 0. It's now in the form of x squared is equal to k since we already isolate the x squared or the quadratic term to the left. Now, so extracting square roots and we know that k is equal to 0 so we have b squared, square root of b squared is equal to b and the square root of 0 is 0. So therefore, the root of the example number 2 is equal to 0. Okay, last property. If k is less than 0, then x squared is equal to k has no real solution or roots. So, let's try to solve um, these two examples. If we, if we have a squared is equal to negative 25 and b squared plus 9 is equal to 0. So, let's proceed with example number 1. So, notice that our k here is negative 25. So, k is negative 25. Is it greater than 0, equal to 0, or less than 0? Yes, the answer is less than 0. So, if k is less than 0, then it has no real solution. In this case, we will write no real solution. Since the value of k is less than 0. Okay? Next, b squared plus 9 is equal to 0 is not in the form of x squared is equal to k. So, we apply subtraction property of equality. So, we add both sides of the equation by negative 9. So, we have here b squared is equal to 0 plus negative 9. The answer is negative 9. 9. So again, our k here is negative 9 and k is less than 0. So therefore, b squared plus 9 has no real solution. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel after watching my video.